There's something about this place that just grabs you and inspires you. So there's no wonder that there are so many artists from around the world who visit or live down here in the Keys. Now the Florida Keys at Council of the Arts, they're the leading arts and cultural organization in the Keys. Their vision is to enrich the arts and enhance the cultural heritage of the Keys. Liz, thank you for being with me this My morning. Pleasure. All right, let's get right into the Arts Council. Let's talk about your mission. Our mission is to promote and connect artists, arts organizations with everybody who lives here and everybody who visits, which is pretty wide ranging in needs and desires and as you said, you know, inspired. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the environment really inspires our artists. The uh, ongoing love affair with history mm -hmm. and our forts and our museums and of course our tropical landscape is something that you know is just attracts everybody mm -hmm. and so uh, the Arts Council has that wonderful it's not even a task but we are a service organization uh, by the state we are the nominated arts agency that promotes the arts and the culture mm -hmm. of the Keys to um, to attract visitors and you know obviously the tourism base is a tremendous economic engine and so the arts play a part in the business too Hey, let's get more into all of these services and everything that you guys do in the community because you do so much. I didn't realize all it, the it's, programs. It's here. huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I don't believe, <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> it myself, but we have everything from being real administrative staff and support staff to some of the county committees, which is art and public places. We're very fortunate to have a 1% ordinance for public art, which means anytime a building is built, the airport terminal, the new beautiful Freeman Justice Center, the Murray Nelson Center up in Key Largo. I'm working on a project now at uh, the Marathon Courthouse and the mm -hmm. Conkey Fire Station. So we administer the process of choosing public art for those buildings to enhance the environment for visitors and for people who work in the buildings, all the way down to our own grants for instance, artists in schools, and I know we've sh we've shown a couple pictures behind us mm -hmm. of some of the children that benefit from the arts. And Monroe County is fortunate to have a lot of arts. We still have all of our band and art programs, you know, elementary through high school. But we nurture um, additional programs in the schools by sponsoring artists to to work in collaboration with teachers. That's just one little you know part of what we do. We also have an artist registry to support artists in getting work, finding work, having work, um, all the way up to being part of something called the South Florida Cultural Consortium. Again, a mouthful. We call mm -hmm. it SFCC, where we as Monroe County partner with Palm Beach, Miami-Dade, Broward, and Martin County and give um, an annual $15,000 fellowship mm -hmm. to a Monroe County artist. Wow. And so then there's a workshop that's associated with that. There's a workshop with the Tropic Cinema Project that you and I talked, you know, about mm -hmm. briefly. Um, and and we just we also a huge part of our job is keeping the calendar. Mm -hmm. And we are supposed to be the go-to agency for everything that's going on in Monroe County that is arts and culture um, associated. Mm -hmm. So we manage a online calendar, a quarterly calendar, an annual calendar. We feed the calendar to all the media. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically like you guys, you keep the arts alive down here in the we community. Do. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. We, we, we yeah, we're it. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are some of the artists that are involved with the council? Well, um, let's see, there's a young artist, Nellie Appleby, who mm -hmm. just uh, received the fellowship for 2012, $15,000 grant. Other grant winners, um, Deborah Yates, uh, Deborah Goldman, all sorts of those, you know, those artists. I have all the public artists that are qualified, everybody from Alan Maltz, who has work up in the Murray Nelson Center, to Dan Lawler, to uh, David Harrison Wright, we have all the artists that we have rotating throughout the airport, the Gatto building. We support artists um, in all the galleries by having the gallery guide. We'll have the new gallery guide is about to go to the printer, but I'm really excited to say we've got 53 galleries. Wow. Um, we then also outreach and support all the arts organizations. So mm -hmm. it's our job to promote the symphony and the Red Barn and the Marathon Community Theater and 
all the festivals that go on. Tonight's Walk on White. Mm -hmm. Tonight's Murata Way Walk About an Isla Murata. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we are on the pulse you of everything that <laughs> that's going on. Are. And now, then, can the community get involved with this organization? Absolutely. How can they? Uh, our grassroots organization is for people to be a member. Mm -hmm. And um, the memberships start at fifty dollars and go all the way up, you know, five thousand dollars. And that mm -hmm. support is essential to us when we're advocating for state dollars or county dollars. Mm -hmm. That our um, su that support of being a member. Yes, you get your calendar and you get your weekly email blast, but you also get the feeling that um, by supporting us and our organization and our board and advisory board, that we are out advocating for how important arts and culture is as part of the business mm -hmm. and the fabric of our life. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, mm -hmm. it helps um, us promote culture mm -hmm. with the Tourist Development Council, with people coming to visit, because, you know, as we all know, um, tourists who spend their dollars going to the theater and going to the finer restaurants, shopping in the galleries, are the tourists that Stay longer mm -hmm. and spend more money mm -hmm. versus the you know um, the ones drinking that are just bar here. stroll. Right, that's <laughs> <I'll> right. <say. laughs> well, if you want more information, you can check out the website on the bottom of the screen or give the phone number a call. Liz, yes. thank you so much for being here and sharing all this information. Oh, it's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, but please stay with me. <laughs> 